guys, I think I just saw the Pokemon Center Kyoto. Let's go and check it out. Where's the entrance? No, this is also not the entrance. Where is the entrance? <gasps> In Kyoto Manor, they have kimono here with Pokemon on now. Alright, sanitize time. It's the Piplup collection. It's a washing sponge. Wow. There's so much Piplup stuff. Oh, I love that tea set. <laughs> That's from the new anime. Pokemon in summer. Oh my gosh, those Pikachu hats are adorable. Turns out the hats are baby size. Why are all the nice hats always baby size? There's so many snacks. Well, Piplup is definitely the most popular Pokemon this summer. The ice maker is absolutely hilarious. I like the Pikachu ball. I'm looking for Magikarp, but like. <laughs> actually hiding on the ceiling if you look. Ta -da! I'm really impressed by the kimonos, but they must be very, 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 very expensive. I might regret this. I asked if they actually sell those kimonos, and he's actually checking right now. It might be way out of my price league though. I'm not sure if they're Kyoto limited, but they look very much very traditional Japanese style, so maybe they're Kyoto Limited? Oh, these ones definitely are. They calibrated with the famous Kyoto store for some of these items. I asked the staff and they have Pokemon Yatsuhashi. So that's also Kyoto store only, and all the items here are all Kyoto store limited. I love this bag here. It looks so classy. We also have some traditional paper for writing letters. I think that's also Kyoto only. Alright, I get it from the cab driver. Since green tea was first brought here by a Buddhist, it's a Pikachu with green tea. That makes sense. I was looking for Magikarp and I saw Lolikachu. It's Lolita Pikachu. Lolikachu. All of them. Look at Dandy. Oh, it looks so cute. Lilikachu is my favorite. Look at Lilikachu. Yay! I've looked at this suitcase so many times, but it's kind of small. It was so cool. Still trying to find Magic Heart. Best Pokemon ever. Where is my card friend? In okay, case so you want to have some Pokemon on your rice. Is the food one and matcha, matcha risk. And this one, actually, if you look close, there's some signatures right here. Masada san came made in Kyoto Pokemon. This is pretty cool. All right, the staff was super kind and they said those kimono. They actually sold downstairs here on the first floor in a place called Kimono Station. Not sure if I can film there, but I'm definitely gonna go check it out. I'm just curious, how much are those original Kyoto only collaboration kimonos? I'm curious, and I'm sure you're curious too, so let's go. I'm a bit nervous, but this is Kimono Station, so here we go. Let's just walk past the entrance. Well, that's the place, Kimono Station. Let's find out if they're still selling the Pokemon kimono. There are some wonderful kimonos here and accessories and And that is real kimono material. That's real silk. It's actually made here in Kyoto. We have this one here. Look at that one. That's really fancy for the boys, for them gentlemen. Like very dark, classy. And then this pattern, you'll only realize it's Pikachu when you come close. So what they actually do here, and I ask them how it works, you actually start from scratch, which means you pick your favorite type of silk and then they actually order make it for you to fit your body type, your body size, meaning all you big people and small people, they will make one that fits just right for you. Then you can, can have your very favorite type of haori or kimono or 
Maybe you turn it into a skirt, whatever you want to turn it into. I did not know they did this. Look at the detail of it too. This is definitely very, very special. I asked the staff and they said on the, this really flashy pattern, Japanese people would put on the inside and actually foreigners preferred on the outside to show it off a little bit more. It's like a different cultural thing, right? It's so cool though. But it is a proper real kimono, so it's like buying, you know, a special, special item for a wedding or something. I wouldn't mind getting married in this. This is, for example, twice the cloth because it's on the inner and the outside. But you actually, you go with the cloth price, how much you need for your body type and size and then they order make it for you. So we learned something today. I learned something today. That's definitely a really cool collaboration and you can only get this in Kyoto. You can only get this here. Cool stuff. You can see it behind me. The place here is Suina, is on the bottom and then on the top is the Pokemon Center right on top of us. The staff of Kimono Station Kyoto was amazing. You know what? I was really nervous to get in there for the very first time and find out about their kimonos. They explained it all in detail. There was no like difficulty at all. They were super friendly and I think especially with high spendings like a kimono. I'm surprised that you know they did explain it in detail to me and all of that. They were amazing. So it turns out that we stumbled into a little adventure here and found a super rare item and that was pretty cool. Um, I don't think many people know about this kimono collaboration. So here's the word. I'm spreading the word now because not many know about this. It might, it might just be like your next wedding outfit because it's very special, of course, because it's a real kimono and it's handmade for you. So that, that, that was that. What a surprise. Like we stumbled into a new adventure together, guys, you and I. So this was Cathy Cat, guys. Check out the next video if you love Pokemon. This is definitely going to be down your alley. And if you come to Kyoto, be sure to check out this place if you want to have your own kimono. Well, Pokemon love goes a long way. I love that grown-ups can do fun Pokemon stuff too. So yeah, catch you soon for another video. Bye!